He has spent a decade representing Indiana in a number of ways, first as a representative, then senator. Now Marlon Stutzman serves as a congressman in the U.S. House. And Congressman Stutzman joins us now in our latest Meet the Candidates segment. Thank you so much for making us a part of your morning. Thank you, Drew. Good to be with you this morning. We learned a lot when you were first campaigning that you grew up in Howe and you're a farmer, small business owner. Yeah. How has that experience helped you relate to Hoosiers? Well, first of all, I, I love the fact that I had the opportunity to grow up on a farm and uh, still involved in our farming operation with my family. Uh, you know, I think what it did to me was it taught the value of hard work, uh, getting up early in the morning, like this morning, yes. you know, <laughs> uh, but also uh, the, the difficulties in being in, uh, in, being in business. Uh, farming has variables on both sides of the ledger. You, you can't control corn prices. You can't control seed prices and fertilizer prices. So you really had to practice conservative fiscal principles. And so I think that was very helpful to me. But also, you know, working together with my family, uh, also learned the, the importance of family um, values. And so I, I'm just very grateful for that opportunity. I remember learning quite a bit about your family when you were running. Your two little boys yeah. are so adorable. <laughs> I remember you. them. They're, I don't know. They were little fashionistas, the male versions. They would yeah. have their hats. <laughs> and everything so we know you're a family man yeah uh, what don't we know about you what are the what's something unique that voters might not realize well you know I, I do love to spend a lot of time with family and uh, my boys they love uh, riding ATVs four-wheelers that's uh, the thing that they are always excited to do uh, we love to be out in the woods a lot and of course uh, my boys they, they want to be in the military someday and so they're always uh, trouncing around the woods whenever they get an opportunity uh, of course we love to play video games together uh, I'm a baseball card collector, so okay. I love collecting baseball cards. My mom was grateful when I moved out of the house to take all of them right. with me. <laughs> and I also collect some coins as well. Uh, I, I try to think that I'm not, um, you know, I don't keep everything, but my wife tells me that I do tend to keep a lot of things yeah. around. But uh, I'm a saver, and I, I do value those, uh, those sentimental things that remind me of of things growing up and things like that. Well, you have collected quite a few memories, not only in your experiences in politics, but I understand you've been on many mission trips. What have those taught you and just helped you in, in representing the United States? You know, that probably was another, uh, just a changing point in my life. Uh, I went to Russia in 1995 on a mission trip with Josh McDowell and um, Campus Crusade and some other uh, ministries. and. The Russia had just come out of the Soviet Union, and so they were still transforming uh, over some time there. And, and to see the, the look in people's eyes there, they didn't have much hope. And to come back home and to see, you know, we have so much opportunity. And uh, that really impacted my life. But I've been to Haiti several times, which, of course, is one of the poorest nations in the world. I've uh, been to Guatemala to an orphanage um, and to, to see little ones there that are needing a home. Uh, my parents were also involved in foster care. And so we, uh, we, I love uh, helping people. And my granddad, who uh, served in a lot of different ways in hurricane disaster service, uh, tornadoes, of course, out in the West, um, it's just about serving people and helping people and realizing that, you know what, we're all in this together and we need to help one another. So those mission trips really uh, helped me understand not only are we very blessed here in the United States, but also we have... Uh, we've been blessed, so we have an uh, uh, opportunity to help others. It's one thing to travel a lot, but it's another to do it with such a purpose. So that's wonderful. When you were first elected in the State House of Representatives, you were the youngest <laughs> member of the legislature. Yeah. What was that like? Oh, uh, well, you know, I, I was, of course, just trying to find the restrooms and uh, <laughs> find my way around. But, uh, you know, I, I was nervous, obviously, and, and I had a lot to learn. It, this has been one of the, the neatest experiences for me. Never imagined I'd, I'd be in politics like this. I uh, always wanted to be in the farming operation, um, even though I'm, I am some, but we were in the trucking business at the time, and my wife had a small business. And so I still try to keep my, my fingers in that so that I, it, it just helps me understand what people are dealing with every day. But, um, you know, being the youngest, uh, people were very kind to me. I, I often was thought of, of an intern, you know, maybe one of the <laughs> senior members like, here, take my papers. And, and, uh, but, you know, I, I understand that. And uh, even in Congress today, some people still think that maybe I'm just one of the ones running around. But You're young uh, there, too, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, especially when I go to the U.S. Senate. You know, right. It's much, much older there. But um, it, it's been a very neat experience, and I'm thankful for the opportunity. Well, we are thankful for the opportunity to talk with you this morning and get to know you better. We appreciate your time. I know campaigning keeps everyone so busy, so we always appreciate a few minutes. Oh, glad to be here. Thank you. Well, Congressman Stutzman's opponent is Kevin Boyd, and Kevin will join us on the show next Saturday. We'll be right back.